Hello, welcome to Prime Business with me, Pius Kojo Baka. The Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors has debunked assertions that the Bank of Ghana supplies them with cheap dollars to support the operations while strengthening the forex. According to the Chamber, that assumption cannot be the case as the supply of dollars rather go a long way to have a great impact on product supply, prices of petroleum products and stability of the Ghana city. His comment has come in at a time the Bank of Ghana has signaled its intention to still go ahead with the targeted dollar support for the bulk oil distribution companies to support fuel imports despite proposals from the International Monetary Fund to suspend the program. Dr. Kwiku Fori is the chief executive of the Chamber of Bulk Oil Distributors and has been speaking to Joy Business. I think the decision by the central bank to take this uh, move is one that is commendable. Mm. Many a times, I think we get some element of misinformation or miscommunication around some of these policy directives by the central bank. But what people fail to realize is its social impact and overall benefit in how such policies help the central bank as a key uh, manager of uh, in inflation and other microeconomic uh, indicators mm -hmm. of the country. I see. And then the bit about the miscommunication is about the false impression that is being created out there that they give the BDCs a cheap dollars and that they are creating different market rates. It's not the case. The central bank, based on their projections and like any commodity traders that they engage in forward trading, they, it's just that it assures the BDCs or the counterparties that at this point in time, T or in two weeks' time, we have this quantum of forest available for you and it's going to be traded at this rate. There are times that the BDCs who lock in those products will go and then pay for an amount that maybe the current market is even lower than that rate. So that, I think, has also not been fair to the central bank and that is why maybe the IMF and other uh, communicators around such policies may think that they are creating a different scenarios or different markets for different segments of the economy. But I think if there is anything to say to the central bank, it's that of commendable, a bold initiative that distinguishes Ghana from other countries that experience poor shortages during the critical period of our economy. Now, energy strategist and president of Eureka and energy, energy, uh, emerging energy consultancy firm, Dr. Yusuf Suleimana, is urging government to implement a financial backup to address shortage of natural gas and ensure constant electricity supply. Now, the West African gas pipeline company, the bank, claims that it is facing technical challenges which resulted in power outages in parts of the country. Now, Agritco had earlier blamed the power outages through a shortage of natural gas supply from the Atuabo gas processing plant and the West African gas pipeline. Here is Dr. Yusuf Suleimana. If you have a shortfall from Ghana gas, we can get from Nigeria. That pipeline is bi-directional. So it depends on maybe we have the financial ability to be able to get any shortfall within gas supply. But I always believe that we have to be self-reliant. Ghana gas, we have to champion Ghana gas to ensure that we don't even depend on, you know, West African gas pipeline on any day. But until that, we need to have maybe a backup, a financial backup available, so that when there's any shortfall in gas supply coming from our trouble, then we should be able to source something externally from a uh, problem from Nigeria. And that boils down to financial, you know, our financial capability. ...has launched the Anazi Health Tourism to provide solutions needed to close the health gap in the country and beyond. According to the chief executive, Gideon Asari, the move is necessary to support Ghana's health sector. Now, speaking to Joy Business at the launch, he admonished Ghanaians to take keen interest in promoting tourism across all sectors. The Advancy Health Tourism will facilitate the inbound and outbound travel of people seeking health solutions to Ghana and abroad. Chief Executive Officer of Advancy Travel, Gideon Asari, called for more patronage for local health care system. Today we launched the Advancy Health Tourism to help bridge the gap in the healthcare um, sector. And we have realized that um, when it comes to healthcare, there is so much gap. There are people in other parts of um, Ghana here, in some part of Ghana, who find it difficult to assess, assess healthcare within, within the country. So we are not launching this just to take people out of the country. 
but also to expose the uh, very good uh, doctors, very good hospitals, and the facilities we have to Ghanaians and to those living abroad who would like to come. Of course, there are times that situation make it possible or demand that people in Ghana have to move out of the country to seek medical care because there's some lack of facility here. And Adanze Health Tourism is here to help. The next part, Chief Executive Officer for the Kulebu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Opoku Warampuma, said it is time to explore the infinite possibilities of health tourism compared to other natural resources bestowed on the country. And uh, globally, depending on where you look, this is an around a $120 billion industry, and it's expected to grow at a rate of about 11% over the next uh, several years to 2032. And so this is... Uh, I mean, if you're looking for economic growth or looking for uh, an area where we can create jobs and uh, improve the well-being of our people, then this is one of the areas that you need to look at. Because there's a whole value chain uh, when it comes to medical tourism. So when it comes to medical tourism, you promote it right or you do it right, then you're going to have the situation where our hostels get the needed investment in equipment, infrastructure and quality. You also have the situation where our healthcare workers will be retained in country because they are making extra income and then, you know, they don't have to run away like we have now. Because at the moment, one of the existential threats to our healthcare system is the fact that many of our skilled people are leaving the country. And then you also have the value chain where the tourism industry, the hoteliers, the transport people, you know, the service industry, uh, you know, restaurants, you know, all the, you know, uh, low, uh, you know, there's a whole value chain that must, I mean, that will benefit from medical tourism. So it's one of the neglected areas. And um, I'm sometimes I sound like a broken record, but I've been following this path since 2007. The Adansi Health Tourism is tipped to provide solutions needed to close the health gap and help people obtain timely and high quality health care, as well as vacations with cost effective office. Now, Anglo Gold Ashanti Obwasi Mine has handed over a 20-seater washroom facility to the Egimagdukrum community in the Ashanti region to lessen the negative impact of poor environmental sanitation. The project is part of the company's 10-year socio-aid development plan of improving the livelihoods of host communities. There is more in this report. The 630,000 cities facility, which will serve over 4,000 beneficiaries, is to help mitigate openification in the new Medukum community. According to Senior Manager Sustainability at Anglo Gold Ashanti, environmental stewardship is critical to the gold mine, hence the move. Emmanuel Beidou urged the community to foster good maintenance culture to sustain the facility. One of the key areas of the 10 years of economic development plan is to contribute to improving um, sanitation and hygiene. Um, Anu Medukrum is one of our communities. Um, we, through the consul initial consultations, what led to the development of the 10 year plan, established uh, the dire need of a sanitary, a public sanitary facility in the community. So working closely with the Obwasi East District Assembly and the leadership of the community, um, we realized it was really a priority for the community to have such a project. The community facility was constructed some few meters from the Kwabrafusu cluster of schools to also serve students. Assembly member Yakubu Lamin revealed the community was in dire need of a toilet facility. He commended AGA for addressing and improving sanitation in the area. Formerly, we had one which is not good and then it was pulled down. So the school community was with no toilet facility. So we, we approached AGA and then we told them we would need one of these facilities in uh, New Medicum, which they heeded to our uh, appeal. So they came and then did it for us. It will serve the community and the school. And to serve the, because the students, we have about 3,000 plus students in, the, in this uh, particular school. And then the community too, we have some small catchment area which is very close to the toilet facility. They will use the facility as uh, their toilet facility. 
The assembly member promised to set up a committee to ensure the facility is properly maintained. Since AGA did it and they used 6.3 billion for old currency and then 630,000 uh, Ghana cities, uh, if it's an individual who did it, wait, who did it, it means that he has to recuperate his money back. So doing this is not easy. So we will, we will, we will, we will form a committee to look at it for us. So we will, we will concern uh, comprising the assembly, the nananom and the unit committee and the assembly member to have a good so that they can repair and then maintain the facility. Anita Sewa Ajogan reporting. And that's it for Prime Business. I am Pius Kojubaka. Prime Sports is next.